Uh, you do not want to book this room when you come here. Well, not this room. This is the room you want to book. Uh, you do not want to book the most popular room. That would be the superior room. That room is 391 square feet. And for $10 more a day, you can get this room. This is the junior suite, uh, 600 square feet, two bathtubs. One is an outdoor jacuzzi, private balcony, lots of space. Uh, this is the one you want to get. So I'm going to give you a quick room tour. This is one of the most popular rooms, not just at this hotel, but in the entire city of Punta Cana. It's actually really awesome. I am furious with Barcello right now. The check-in process is probably the worst one I've ever seen in my entire life. I was in line for probably over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, it was chaos, it was bedlam, everyone was upset, but I gotta call it like it is. This room is one of the best values I've ever witnessed out of any hotel. It's crazy. So let's get right into it. When you enter the room, you encounter the split setup I'll show you that in just a second. It's interesting. Right off the entryway is the bathroom. That is really convenient. Uh, to the left is your water closet, the full-size frosted glass door, as well as the elevated telephone. I think give it a little bit of class. Uh, before we get into the bathroom, I have to show you this giant closet. Then typically, if you've seen one closet, you've seen them all. But this closet is humongous. You have two nice robes hanging here, lightweight. I think that's very appropriate for this climate. It's nice to keep your stuff out of the way so the room doesn't get cluttered and a big closet is actually really important. And here's the bathroom. You can enter it either way. You can enter it from the entrance or you can enter it from the bedroom. It's very functional. You have your bathtub and shower to the left and you have your sinks to the right. Uh, I love external sinks. If you watch the channel, I mention them whenever I see them. I just think it's a very simple way to give the room an uptick in class, style, and design. Barcello seems to love this olive green accent color. Uh, it is one of the ugliest colors, I think, on the planet, but they seem to embrace it. You have some convenience and amenity products in case you forgot something or need something extra. And then on the flip side of the sinks, again, is your shower and your tub. The best bathtub is outside. Just wait until you see this jacuzzi tub outside. It is pretty awesome. You have some canister products up here that are mounted on the wall. I think these are chintzy, cheap, and classless, but on the flip side, they are really convenient. You don't have to fumble with the individual packages. This door does swing open. I'm not sure why. Uh, maybe just for extra space while you're bathing. It does create a more open environment or even perhaps for accessibility purposes. And then let's keep this thing moving. We are entering the bedroom. I swear I booked a junior suite with a king bed. Uh, it looks like they gave me a two double. I'm not going to complain. Uh, that line was so long. I would have taken honestly any room they would have given me. I haven't checked the beds out yet. Let's check these out together. They are pretty nice. I'd say above average. Uh, firm with a little bit of plushness to them. They are not going to interrupt a good night's sleep, that is for sure. Normally I don't point this out, but to the left of the bed you have like your alarm clock speaker system. It does have USB fast charging, which is nice. You don't have to fumble with your own cables. You just plug right into there. And then opposite of the beds is the TV. You're not watching TV in Punta Cana. If you're watching TV in Punta Cana, you got a problem. Either it's the weather or you're not having a good time. Uh, but if you do decide in a rare case to watch TV uh, for this room size, this TV is actually kind of small, but I've never really encountered awesome TVs in really any of my Punta Cana hotel rooms. But what's awesome is actually below the TV and that is this huge storage space. For me, there are ample places for storage in this room. I have the closet, I have the secondary bed. I also have some other places in the living room, which I'll show you in a second. But I'll probably keep both my suitcases right here. I keep them close to me no matter where I am in the room. This huge luggage and storage setup uh, in the middle of the room is super convenient. This is the entertainment, family room, living room area. There's a large lounge space to the left. I wouldn't call it a couch or a bed. Uh, it's not really comfortable enough to be either, but if you do have some small children who don't know any better, they could probably sleep here while you stay. Uh, definitely for me, I wouldn't be able to sleep any more than one or two nights on it, but it is there for extra space. Again, you could use it as a luggage storage spot and keep your stuff kind of away from the main part of the room, but with that luggage area, you don't really need to. For me, that area will probably go unused and untouched. You have two ottomans here in the middle. You can use these for whatever you want. You're probably gonna eat your room service here. You could use them as a footrest. 
God only knows what people use these things for in Putacana. And then here's the desk area, just like the luggage spot. It is long, spacious, lots of connectivity. Uh, if you're like me and you're coming to Putacana and you have to get some work done, it's always great to have a nice desk set up. This is definitely one of them. And the minibar setup isn't bad either. These large waters are life. There's nothing better than getting to an all-inclusive that is very liberal with these large waters. So we have one up top here. Uh, it's gonna be for your coffee. And then there is another one here that is refrigerated in a mini fridge. I love how the mini fridge has the see-through glass door. Not only does it add some luxury to the room, but you can also just see what's in there without having to open up the door. So like I said, another large water refrigerated Coca-Cola products and of course, Dominican water. So that is the room and it would be great. I'd actually be really happy if that was it, but check this out, this is the best part. Let me show you the balcony. And this is awesome. It is really unique, actually. Uh, I was surprised to the upside on this one. So uh, front and center, you have your square jacuzzi tub. Easily spacious enough for two people. I love the square tub designs. You got a shower handle here if you need to rinse off after you're done. And one of the best things about this tub is actually the privacy curtain, which you can use if you want to get a little romantic or if you don't want someone seeing what you're doing in a jacuzzi or if you just kind of like your privacy in general. I think that curtain is a really neat touch. The stonework backdrop is really cool. Uh, definitely adds more class. And then you have another one on the right. Below those are your wicker furniture. And then I'm told this is one of the best buildings in the entire compound. I think this is building number four. And you have a little courtyard area out here with some really tall palms. And then you can see I have a great view of the ocean. I'm really close to the beach and ultra close to the lobby, bars, restaurants, and entertainment. I like that area a lot. It actually feels private out there, and I would have never thought I'd be saying that at Barcello Barbaro Palace. This is the junior suite. This is the room to get. I think this room is like under $200, and I'm here prime time tourist season. I got this room for under 200 bucks. Uh, spend the extra $10, get this room. Take a look at the junior suite online and then compare that to the superior suite. It is a no brainer. Spend the extra $10 and upgrade to this room. I think this is one of the best values I've ever Ever encountered in any of the hotels I've stayed in in my life not just on the channel but in my life I think the value is insane the pictures online looked decent but the pictures online always look decent I was expecting this room to be a little generic less luxurious and not as big I got a smile on my face I shouldn't I had a terrible check-in experience and it put a terrible taste in my mouth but I gotta say this room has turned that frown upside down I am really digging this property now and i'm excited to check it out i'm here for four nights and i'm going to try to do this entire property it sounds impossible and it very well may be but i'm going to give it the old college try uh, if you're interested in the beach the pools the adult pool here the restaurants the entertainment the nightlife the bars everything make sure you check out my experience video it will debut a little bit after this video and if you want to see all my putacana hotels make sure you check out my putacana playlist I'll drop a link in the description below.